Hey everyone, I'm Connor and welcome to my channel The Closet. If it's your first time here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury. So if that's something you're into, I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified when I bring out new videos. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, which I know is one of your favorites, upcoming or recently dropped or about to come out Louis Vuitton collections and my thoughts or commentary on these. And um, yeah, you know, I like to do these little videos. They're fun. <laughs> and um, yeah, with Louis Vuitton, you think you know what's out there and then you fall asleep and then BAM! New collections dropped or a new collections about to drop and you're like, where did this come from? So if you're not aware of what's out there or what's about to come, watch this video, tell your friends, tell your family. You just watch it, right? <laughs> Alright, before we get into the new bags, this is one thing that I stumbled across on Louis Vuitton's website. Um, I believe this bag came out in like January or February of this year, but I didn't I've never seen it, never seen anybody talk about it, never seen it on the socials. Um, but it's called the Ivy Wallet on Chain. Uh, it comes in Empreinte leather or monogram canvas. And I thought I'd give it a little shout out because I think it's pretty good value for what it is. Um, and maybe you're not aware of it. Maybe this might be the walk for you. Um, but it is a little kind of wallet on chain. Um, the Empreinte on the Australian website anyways only comes in this kind of ivory cream colour or they've got it in monogram canvas. Um, it comes with a detachable chain that I guess you could wear over the shoulder and also an adjustable um, shoulder or crossbody strap. Um, it's got a little zip compartment in there that runs the width I guess of the bag. Then there's card slots and then it's just an open pocket. So a very, you know, standard wallet on chain layout. Um, but the monogram um, price, 2550 Australian dollars, or the Empreinte leather version, um, $2,750, so only $200 more for the leather version. Um, ivory, a bit of a tricky colour, but if it is your jam, it's your jam. But then, good old faithful classic monogram. Um, I think this is pretty good, like Wox these days, they're in the $2,000, mid $2,000 range, regardless of it being leather or canvas. Um, so I think this is a pretty cool kind of vibe. It's giving me um, the, uh, what's it called? The favourite kind of layout style or even like Pachette Accessoire, um, but on steroids. So good. Check it out if you're looking for a walk. I think this is pretty cool. Alrighty, new products. Now, this collection is called the Monogram Spotlight Collection. It has recently come up on the Australian website and it is... Um, I don't know. It's not terrible. It's not, I wouldn't buy anything from it. I don't really like the kind of color schemes and everything like that. It looks like it's green and purple, I want to say. Sorry if I got that wrong. I think it's like green, like a neon green and purple. That's what my eyes tell me it is. Um, and it is in leather. So the bag is in a non-grained calfskin. So like a smooth calfskin, um, but it's all in leather and um, it's, you know, I mean, coming off the heels of Kasama, this is looking like the fucking Wizard of Oz, all right? It's it's not bad, but it's not for me. Um, now, the kind of products that they've got, first up, we have the Comet Messenger Bag PM. So, cool little crossbody. It's got a nylon strap, all matte black hardware for all the things in this collection as well. Um, it kind of looks like the Outdoor Discovery kind of bag, I believe, like that's what it reminds me of. Um, but pretty cool, 4,300. I mean, it's not a budget bag, but it's not. For an old leather Louis Vuitton bag in this day and age, you know, I've seen worse. So we'll give it, we'll give merit where merit is due. Um, it's not ugly. I mean, if I saw someone with just anything from this collection, I would be like, oh yeah. And I maybe it's one of those things that in person, the colors are a bit more vivid, so it kind of works a bit better. So I feel like we're getting somewhere, all right? We're, we're redeeming ourselves after Kasama Gate. Next up, we've got the Comet Bum Bag. I do like this for a bum bag, and I like that it's got um, a top handle, you know, we do like a bit of versatility when we're paying $4,600 for something with the word bum in it. Um, same following suit as the previous bag, same colour layout, you know, all leather with the nylon kind of buttocks adjustment stra strap. Um, I mean, yeah, pretty cool. 
Um, what's it lined in? Okay, so it's lined in like a, um, a textile, um, which is fine. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Don't know if I'd pay $4,600 for a bum bag though, but you know, we've seen worse and we've done worse. So we'll leave it at that. Um, this next bag is the Meteor, Meteor Travel Bag 50. Um, I like this. I think it works. I think this um, monogramming works a lot better when the bag is bigger. I think there's a bit more coverage for it to kind of work with. Um, travel bag 50. I'm assuming it's 50 centimeters. Oh, 47 centimeters. Okay. Well, call it the Meteor Travel Bag 47. Don't rip us off three centimeters. Because am I ripping you off three centimeters in the price? No, I'm not. So let's not lie, Louis. <laughs> Um, yeah, look, I like it. I like it. But like, where are you going with that? <laughs> um, 7,150 Australian dollars. Put a gun to my head and rob me properly is what I say. Nah, I mean, it's not terrible, but I mean, if you want a kind of bag like that, I'd, I'd suggest just getting a key pool. <laughs> Like it's the same sort of, I'd get a Keyball 45 or a Keyball 50 because they're cheaper than that. And you, you know, kind of got a bit more, bit more room to work with, I guess. But not terrible, not terrible. Um, and then also they've chucked in a Comet backpack. This backpack looks like um, you're going to the moon. That's what it reminds me of. That's why it's called the Comet backpack. $6,050. Take that off your back to school wish list because I don't think mum and dad are going to get you that one. But, you know, as far as backpacks go, it'll do. It'll do. Um, also, some SLGs. They've got the pocket organizer. Um, $860. Yeah, pretty stock standard. No whackers. Then we've got the multiple wallet. $1,180. Bit, how you going? But whatever. Yeah, cool. I'm just, I'm not really into the smooth leather um, kind of thing. And um, yeah, but you know, like I said before, we've seen worse. Alrighty, next we've got bags that have not been released yet or aren't on the Louis Vuitton website, but are you know, due to be coming up very shortly. Um, got a lot of these off Foxy LV's um, Instagram. We've got the twinny bag. It looks very um, hobo-esque. It's got the S-lock clasp. Um, then it's in kind of like, the front of it's in monogram and then the sides are in reverse monogram. Uh, it's got a black leather strap. It looks adjustable. And then it's got a chain with some leather woven through it. Um, I mean, it looks a bit fiddly, a bit, um, yeah, a bit fiddly, but it's not terrible. I think we're kind of this hobo-esque kind of kidney shaped bag style. That's, that's where we're at at the moment. So I think they're just riding the wave. $3,050, which would be US. So probably about five and a half thousand Australian dollars. You'd have to love it. I mean, you'd have to love it. It's not ugly, but you know. I don't think it's going to be on the top of many people's wish lists, that's for sure. Next, we've got another bag that is yet to be released, but it is the Bum Bag Mini. I think this is really cute. I do like this. Um, it looks like it's got a zip from the top and then a little front pocket. Um, it looks like pre darkened Vachetta as well for this strap. And I believe you could wear this kind of crossbody as well or adjust it to go around your waist like a bum bag or across your chest. Um, and it's also got the... Um, the gold chain that I guess you could use as a shoulder bag or however you'd want to, however you'd want to assess with it. <laughs> assess I love saying that word. It's so like, <laughs> um, that's got a price of 1600 euros or 2030 US dollars. So yeah, probably about 3000 Australian dollars somewhere in that, in that realm. Um, yeah, cool. Not terrible. Not terrible. Um, then they've got the same mini bum bag, but in the, is it pink on front with, I don't know. I don't know what the colors are, but I don't like it. It looks like bronzy orange or gold or something like that with the LV. Not a fan of this one, not a fan, um, but it's giving by the pool vibes, like that kind of capsule collection that comes out. So um, 
I like the traditional monogram version personally, but yeah, the leather one, no, nah. Alrighty, next we've got a upcoming collection from the men's range. I really do like this good color scheme. It's the monogram aqua garden. They've got it. It looks like in a steamer wearable wallet. Um, which is, you know, like a, a wallet on chain, essentially. You could fit a phone in there too, if you, you your heart desired. Um, silver hardware. The leather accents are this aqua kind of Tiffany color. And then the monogram um, is the same with this kind of blob water look on it. I think they could have done it without the blob bit. I think it would have been fine, but what would I know? Then they've got a... Uh, a keep all mini or a keep all 25 they're calling them these days same sort of thing aqua tiffany color leather trim you got a luggage tag there nylon strap as they do with some of them and then the blobs um remove the blobs and we'll be happy um but yeah cool cool also they've got a new fragrance coming out called a pacific chill not sure obviously what it'll smell like but um you know, I'd be taking a stab, a stab in the dark, but I reckon it's some sort of citrusy floral number because every perfume is. <laughs> um, but that will look, I mean, that will look, I'm sure it'll smell great. It's got the kind of palm trees there. So in the beach, so I reckon it's going to be some sort of summer fragrance. Now, the next few items are from upcoming collections, I believe in winter of this year for like Northern Hemisphere winter. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what um, that's what Fall Winter 23 is, unless it's, it would have to be because it's not released yet. So I'm pretty sure it's like the end of this year. Um, but they've got a new denim collection coming out from the men's range. It's called Monogram Washed Denim. Um, one of the photos here I found off a Instagrammer, um, Matt D 74 He does a lot of um, similar stuff to what Foxy LV does, but more men's collections. Um, but they've got a um, pochette to go here in the denim. I like it. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, it's kind of like that, um, yeah, wash denim, I guess, that, you know, fady look. Um, then they've got a, um, a key pull, um, and then some ready to wear here. Looks like there's a backpack down there. Also cool. Um, I like this. I like the kind of denim look. They've picked the right kind of tones for the denim. So I think this will be really popular when it does come out. Hopefully they do some SLGs in it as well. Um, and some other bags, not just like the pochettes and the key pulls. Um, but I think it'll be really, really popular when it does come out. And I like that it's not trying to be too much like previous denim collections. They're kind of done a new take on it so it's not like you know trying to rewrite history i like that they've kind of given it their own kind of look to it it looks very dimensional um, and a bit of a shadow behind the monogram which is cool we love to see it but this next collection i really do love i think it's very um really really cool it's what i love about louis vuitton um, it's obviously not going to be for everyone but i think it's definitely a step in the right direction it is going to be from um, Women's for Winter 23 as well. Um, I don't know the name of the collection, but we've got a keep all here. It's got this really cool monogram coloring, pre-dark and bichetta. And then it's got um, like the signs that they have in Paris, the little, the street signs, what do they call? the Rue de whatever street, and it's emulating that, which is very cool. Um, they've got some luggage here. We've got speedies. We've got a key pole. Um, and then it's got this kind of, I don't know if it's, I think it's the, um, the saffron color stripe that runs down it. I could be wrong. You know me and my color blind eyes, but that's what I'm assuming it would be. Um, also we've got some very beautiful blue kind of Mediterranean looking pieces here. We've got a keeper, we've got a suitcase, we've got some trunks. Um, I love, I love all of this. I love all these colors. I love how, you know, like Greek inspired, like Mykonos vibes or, or very, um, very summery. Um, even though it's for winter, I'm not sure what they're doing there, but it reminds me of like summer vibes and of course blue and white. Um, yeah. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that's everything that we've got, guys. 
Let me know your thoughts. What are you excited for? Is there a collection I haven't mentioned that you are excited for? Have you purchased anything? Are you looking to purchase something? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, I would love it if you could give this video the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already, because guys, I'm going to Paris very, very soon, like seven days away. So if you want to be on top of all my content from Paris where I'll be vlogging and everything else that I can come up with whilst I'm over there, make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I promise you it's going to be some good content, all right? Well, I hope so. If it's not, disclaimer, it might not be good, but <laughs> it'll be good. So yeah, make sure you keep your eyes out for that. Bring on my Paris trip and I hope to see you all very shortly in my next video. Bye guys.